If you're trying to get your logo on a golf ball, this is the easiest way to do it. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. You might have a golf ball and you might want to mark it up with your own logo, monogram, design, something like that. You may want to just be able to identify your ball if you're playing tournament golf. You have to have a way to know conclusively that's your golf ball. And since a lot of people will use a Titleist, that just might not be unique enough. So a little stamp like this can be a quick, easy way to make sure that you know which golf ball is yours. So I actually picked this up. I actually had my logo made on it. It's actually by golfballstamp.com. And so they will send you this. Let me show you how it works. All right, so here's the stamp. It does come with some extra ink right here, and it does come with these instructions, and you do want to follow these. I actually experimented on a golf ball a little bit because I think the issue is, at least for me, is that you are tempted to stamp it like you would a stamp, and this is more of like a rolling pin. So I sent them my logo. They made this into a stamp. You can see it there. Golf ballstamp.com and I can just peel off the top here and you can see the little plate that they made. It kind of feels like 3M sticky tape except without the stickiness. It's kind of like a little spongy foam. Now I do have a ball right here and I'm going to use the clean side. Now what I think your tendency is to want to do is like just press it in there. That doesn't really work and if you think about rolling this across there what ends up happening is you think well I'm going to get ink all over you know i'm gonna get a square printout of like the flat area too but that doesn't really happen so i want to show you how this works i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of roll this across you do have to press it in there especially if your logo is pretty large like me you can see i didn't get to the edges there so i have a little bit of a lost detail right there okay so if i go ahead and grab another golf ball just like this and this time i'm gonna kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit here while i'm pressing it down and that is a much better imprint. Now, how permanent is this? I will say it comes across as a little bit of a charcoal color. It's not like super dark black. You can see the paint that they use on golf balls. But the detail on this is really great, I think. In fact, it's just a nice way to be able to mark your ball without using a Sharpie. Now, some of you may be using these matte finish colored balls. So I just want to show this to you here too. I'm going to go ahead and press that in. Rock it as I'm pressing in. And you can see... We get the logo on there too, so they work on these. I would say that these can stay for a decent amount of time after they're dry. I will say that they don't seem to last super long. I have not noticed them wearing off completely before I actually lose a golf ball. So if you're like me, you don't really care about the longevity. So it's just kind of a nice way to mark your golf ball. Again, no one's going to mistake this for like customizing the golf balls through a manufacturer or third party where they print it on with paint. This is just like ink, but it's a really nice, easy way to do it. And you can just roll your golf balls there and get them all marked up. So if you want to put your logo, your name, your monogram, something like that on a golf ball, you can also buy some pre-made stamps with things like skulls or dog faces, all that kind of stuff too. I think this is a pretty quick and easy way to go. So I'll put a link to this stamp in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper. Oh